you know what they say all good things come to an end Let's go! Last and final day. Ooh. Since it is my last day and all, I thought I might just have a nice breakfast and really enjoy the morning. So, what I had for breakfast... Oh God! I'm so tired of this freaking traffic, won't let me vlog man. So what I had for breakfast is aluka paratha. Aluka paratha is something very common in, you know, Asian, Indian Pakistani cuisine. It's like a typical traditional um, breakfast. So all brown people know what I'm talking about. But for those who don't, aluka paratha is, paratha is basically, basically like naan bread, which is um, staked in, um, in ghee or butter. And then it is, uh, you know, filled with masala. Then the masala is made up of, you know, potatoes and spices and chilies and stuff like that, onions. So it was very good, but, like I had ordered it last night, but it was good, but, 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 there's a but, not the perverted one, but the other one. <laughs> so there's a but, and that is that, um, it was good, but it was not as good as when mum makes it. So uh, I'm kind of happy because of this, this one reason that I can get to go back and have some homemade aluka paratha. But like, still, I've been emotional, man. Emotional damage. The rounds have started. Ooh. I need to hurry up. Let's go. The rounds are still going on, but there is one thing that I have learned from these three weeks. Just have some patience. Not much, just a little. The awards are done for my final, like my final ward rounds. This is sick, man. Time is really flying. Now I have to go have some food because I'm starving. Need to have some food, sugar cane juice to feed up that glucose levels in the blood. Uh, and then I might go back to the awards. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe, maybe. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's a bit emotional, man. It's my last day. <laughs> Oh, some good old eggs and fries. Chipsy my eye. This is basically where I am sitting right now. Just watching some random kids play in the playground, like so-called playground over here. You know, just enjoying life, no worries. Can you stop hooting, peeping, whatever you call it? Crap, man. Anyway, so the one thing I have learned is that I'm not gonna become a dermatologist because honestly, I have seen stuff, like really some disgusting stuff. And hello, how are you? Fine. That's good. Kids, um, I'm not gonna become a dermatologist because the things I've seen have been horrible, man. And after seeing those things, you know, like cellulitis, necrotizing fasciitis, gangrene, skin, with, with, uh, skin which has turned all black and dead, and flesh all gone, just seeing muscles. I mean, it's so freaking disgusting, sorry to say. Uh, but I don't want anything to do with skin. Man, I can't believe the elective is already over. Three weeks, oh man, where did they go? So today I really wanted to take a picture um, and say thank you to the head of department in surgery, like the chief of surgery, Dr. Mavula. I mean, that he is like the best, like the top three best teachers I have ever met in my entire educational career. That guy is a thoracic surgeon and the chief of surgery and he has so much knowledge. It's absolutely insane. And the way he teaches stuff and simplifies everything, man, hats off. That guy is a legend. And I really wanted a picture with him, but he had to leave early. So I didn't get a chance. And then I went to his office later on, but he, was, he wasn't there. Um, so I spoke to the secretary and she called him and he was at the operation theater then. And he said, I should drop my number and he will call me. But I didn't want the call because I really want to meet him in person. person thank him and take a picture with him uh, that would be really like, a great you know, privilege or honor for me what a guy man what a guy so i might head to the hospital tomorrow just to take a picture with him you know on a, on a saturday and he basically works 
every single day, like Monday to Sunday. Insane! So the elective is now complete and this is going to be my last episode of the daily vlogging series for the medical elective in Tanzania. Even though I'm done here, but I still have almost 11 days here in Tanzania, which I'm going to use to explore other places, you know, like a safari park, Mikumi, and I'll also be going to Zanzibar, which is like an island, um, but also like a, it ha it's, it's a separate island, but it's still a part of, Zanz of Tanzania. So I'll be going there as well, but I won't be making daily vlogs because that would be more like tourist stuff, you know? So I might make a couple of vlogs for Zanzibar and one vlog for Mikumi in a safari park. But the daily vlogging is now done. It's been almost 23 days, I think. Um, I've been like vlogging every single day, non freaking stop. But now it's complete. Right now it's 3 p.m. and I really need to rush back home because I need to lay my eggs. If you know, you know. Now that I have finally eaten and my tummy is oh, satisfied, it's officially going to be my waste man time where I'm just going to lay in my bed and um, spend some time on YouTube watching some videos by the great Irfan Junejo who's my vlogging idol from Pakistan. Even though this might seem like I'm wasting my time but it's actually not that because when I watch his vlogs I'm actually learning a lot of new stuff. I'm learning more about the art of storytelling number one and I'm also learning more and more about videography and how to create more and more you know like sequences in your vlogs to interest your audience. So this is important stuff so even though it's like waste manning time uh, but still I'm still learning yeah so Hamaya so my two hour nap is now done and there is one very important thing that I need to talk to you guys about or one very important message but we will do that in a second just have some patience not much just a little because before that there's another important thing that I need to do and that is to apply for a job for summer 2022 even though I do have a job but like I want to apply for a job as a substitute doctor because your boy will be getting his license this summer <laughs> cool boy huh let's imagine I've got two chefs and I want to see which chef is better at cooking food chef one is given one thousand US dollars and he can buy any ingredients he wants he can buy any spices any masala any vegetables any kind of meat and cook a great dish and then we have chef number two we give chef number two just one hundred US dollars and he has to make something very delicious out of those one hundred US dollars now who would you think would be the more creative chef obviously the one with the less resources because anybody Anybody can learn to work with more resources. Anybody can, you know, try and make something nice, something delicious when they have more resources. But the real skill, the real art lies within the fact that whether or not are you able to cook something delicious, something awesome, something very creative, just with a few limited resources. And that is what this entire elective in Tanzania has really, really taught me and opened up my eyes for. We in the West have so many more resources, like so much more advanced technology, luckily. I'm not saying that it's bad, but I'm saying is that the real heroes who are working in countries like these, you know, in Asia, in Africa, other underdeveloped or developing countries, where they have less resources, there's a lot more patient burden. Patients are like a lot more. Doctors have to work like 36 hours shifts. Yes, I personally, I personally know doctors here who have work, work 36 hours nonstop with the few limited resources they have and they try their best to treat patients. For me, ladies and gentlemen, this is what dedication is all about and this is what real skill is all about. <laughs> Why am I getting emotional, man? <laughs> Anyway guys, please comment down below with a flexing emoji if you have enjoyed this entire series. And, 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 this is once again where I say, all good things do come to an end. This is Aram Sheikh, signing out. Peace out. Say peace.